And now sports with Matt Vereen. We've already covered the details of Kobe Bryant's death today, and I've already discussed the legend he leaves behind, but it's worth revisiting last night in a moment we didn't truly appreciate at the time. You see, last night LeBron James officially passed Kobe Bryant on the NBA's all-time leading scorers list. James passed Bryant to claim third on that list while Bryant fell to fourth. And written on LeBron's shoes as he did it was the phrase, Mamba for life. Referring to Bryant's nickname, of course, the Black Mamba. A tribute that James made without knowing what today would bring. And his statement afterwards about Bryant again before the legend's death is that much more important. But now I'm here in the Lakers uniform in Philadelphia, where he's from, where I wanted the first, first time I ever met him, gave me his shoes, he won All-Star Week. It's just, it's surreal. It doesn't make no sense, but the, the universe uh, just puts things in, in your life. And, and, and when you, I guess when you live in the right way or you just giving everything to whatever you're doing, um, things happen organically and it's not supposed to make sense, but it just happens. I'm happy to just to be in a, any conversation with Kobe Bean Bryant, one of the all-time greatest basketball players to ever play, one of the all-time greatest Lakers. The man got two jerseys hanging up in Staples Center. It's just, it's just crazy. Bryant even responded to James passing him in what turned out to be Kobe's final tweet, saying, quote, continuing to move the game forward at King James. Much respect, my brother. Hashtag 33,644. That is the number of points it took to pass Kobe. Now, as you might imagine, the news sent shockwaves through the sports world today. In the Rockets-Nuggets game, there was a moment of silence and noticeably tears from the players. Emotions were also seen at the Raptors-Spurs game. Both teams there letting the opening 24-second shot clock tick away in memory of the great number 24. And internationally as well, in Paris, Neymar tucking away a penalty kick and paying homage to 2-4. Clearly a great loss, not only in basketball, but globally in sports. And tonight was announced the Dallas Mavericks, who Kobe was never a member of, will retire Kobe Bryant's number 24 jersey. Now, his impact on the next generation of basketball players was also huge, including here in Missouri State. In our Bear Nation report, the men's team was up at Drake today trying to get back in the win column. Dana Ford's Bears have already been in so many to-the-wire games, and this ended up being another one. It was a back-and-forth start. DJ Wilkins here, hitting the three for Drake, putting the Bulldogs up 7-3 early, but just a couple minutes later, Missouri State answering back for Cooper Jr. A nice cross-court pass hitting Jamonte Black with a nice finish for the triple. Bears stay in close early, but they took a hit in the closing minutes of the first half. Off of the camera and off ball, Tulio De Silva was caught throwing an elbow. He's charged with a flagrant two and ejected from the game. It's a big blow for Missouri State, but they would hang around to the end even without him. Two minutes left in the game, Isaiah Mosley here with a huge step back three to make it a six point game. Missouri State got it all the way down to two points in the final seconds. Keandre Cook with a look for the win rattles off. Drake survives 71-69 as the Bears suffer yet another loss. But it was also a rare doubleheader. The Lady Bears also on the road at Evansville. Purple Aces winless in the Valley so far. That did not change today. Minute left in the first. Sydney Wilson with a steal. Maya Benhart collects, gives to Alexa Willard, who's going to hit her signature jumper on the other end. Lady Bears up 15-10 early. In the second quarter, Abby Hip gets in on the steal action. She's also going to get the finish on the other end. Missouri State, a season-high 22 forced turnovers and a season-high 15 steals in this one. Four of those steals belong to Sydney Wilson. It's a career high for her. There's another one. Willard would get the finish on the other end. Willard with 13 points, but Jasmine Franklin led the way. 17 points, team high, and one monster block. She gets the finish on the other end as well as the Lady Bears handle Evansville 81 55, setting them a big home game with the Valley leading Bradley this Friday. The Braves actually took down Drake today before that game. Back here in Springfield, whenever you get a call to join a Hall of Fame, you've reached the peak of your craft. 13 members, three programs, and one team, the most recent to answer that call. It's the newest class of the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame enshrined on Sunday in Springfield, including in the ceremony, Derek Johnson from the Chiefs, Ned Yost, a former Royals manager, of course, Terry Pendleton, the longtime Cardinal great, former Mizzou D lineman Justin Smith, Missouri State pitching great Brad Ziegler, and broadcaster in Springfield native as well as friend Don West, who will call his 4,000th game next month, among others inducted, all excited about the call to join the Hall.
I take a lot of pride in, in the Missouri uh, Sports Hall of Fame, knowing that I play for the Kansas City Chiefs, the, sh the show me state. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's something that I cherish for the rest of my life. My favorite player of all time, Stan Musial, and I know the, the address of the Hall of Fame is Stan Musial Drive, so um, just to be you know, associated with him in, in some small way is, is uh, you know, pretty special. And I get in trouble in Atlanta to this day because they'll ask me where the greatest fans are and I'll tell them St. Louis. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I get in trouble for that to this day. It's hard to soak in how, how this has all happened, but uh, I'm extremely honored. I couldn't be more thrilled to, to be here tonight. And Jesse, a special day for them, but right around the time that they were arriving was the time that Kobe news was breaking. And you could feel the emotions even there. Just clearly a shell-shocking day in the sports world. It really was, you know, and that was the first thing that I saw when I woke up today. And like we said earlier, you know, going to change not only the NBA going forward, but sports history changed today with the loss of Kobe Bryant. A final word after the break.